Hi, uh, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video part 2. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, an admin uh, view. This is um, sysibmadm.admintabinfo. Uh, an equivalent um, uh, to this view is a table function sysproc. Admin get tab info v97. It's available in v10 uh, versions also. Um, so let's find out what it has. Um, this admin tab info has in place for us. Uh, the most frequent use of this uh, is to find out the physical or logical size of data index LOBs in a table. And uh, uh, when you say physical size, it is more of the table size on the disk which is more um, important to us than the logical size uh, and uh, the next thing is like whether the table is in rear pending state so uh, whenever this alter table statements are issued like say dropping a col column adding a column renaming a column or changing constraints or you know some certain not all alter table operations but certain alter table operations can put your um, table in a re or pending state which what it means is like after the table statement alter table statement you have to run the re uh, command of the re re command for the table um, it becomes mandatory so but uh, before becoming mandatory it can allow three such operations so that is what the next bullet talks about number of re operations performed on the table so once uh, three reorg recommended operations are performed on the table using alter table statements the table has to be mandatorily uh, reorged uh, using a classic offline reorg and <coughs> the next use is whether the table uses large row ids so this will be particularly useful when um, like in a regular table space the row ids use the regular row ids uh, which will have a restriction of 255 rows um, per page of uh, the table space like uh, the per page of the table so if you look at uh, the the table it will it can have um, only uh, 255 rows uh, maximum per page so if you are fetching if you have to fetch 1000 rows you have to do four um, page reads so whereas if it's using large row ids it can be more so uh, in one or two page reads you can really get those thousand rows so it might be a little bit good in the per in terms of performance for large tables to use large row ids and uh, compression dictionary size of a table this is very 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 useful so the admin tab info gives like not only the the physical size of the data index lobs uh, long objects uh, uh, for a table it also if the table is enabled for compression and there is a compression dictionary is a separate space allocated in the table space for a particular table so the size of the compression dictionary is also you can get through the admin tab info and whether the indexes for the table require a rebuild and uh, the load status of a table so <coughs> something like uh, you do the load query command right so similar to that you can just check whether some load is actively running on the table okay so that is pretty much it uh, we'll go to the exercise now. We'll we'll just try to uh, do some um, exercise here. First, let me show you DB2 describe table sys ibm adm dot admin tab info. So let me just show you the various columns. So tab name, tab schema. These are all typical columns. So here is the important column that I was talking about the object size so if you look at here the data object size is given separately index is given separately long is given separately lob is given separately if it is using xml columns that is also is given everything has a logical and physical size I think we will be more interested in the physical size so you have to sum up all these data object size in the index object size long object size to get the complete size of the table <coughs> and the next column talks about the index type which is uh, type 1 or type 2 indexes uh, pretty much all the indexes which are created after version 8 or type 2 indexes uh, if not you can find it out if your system is having any type 1 indexes or not and the rear pending operation is what i was telling about the rear pending flag which will tell uh, the rear whether 
you ha- you have the table in a reorg pending state or not and even the in place reorg status can be known the load status can be known and um, read access only is like whether the when when a load is happening right so s- some portion of the table can be given for a read access right so that is uh, whether that is enabled or not and no load no load restart is something like if the load uh, you have loaded the table it is partially loaded so whether you can restart the load or not so using this particular flag you can get to know whether uh, whether you can restart the load or you have to terminate the load num reorg recalters is the one which number of um, reorg recommended uh, alter table operations done so once this count reaches 3 you have to mandatorily do reorg i mean not mandatory the, the table it's not going to allow any further operations on the table and whether the indexes require uh, the rebuild and large rids whether the table uses large rids and large slots this is for that uh, the restriction of 255 rows per page i was talking about and the dictionary size and if you are using mdc table whether we, there are some uh, pending blocks to be cleaned up so that can be shown here and the stats type is whether the uh, statistics collected on this table is a user like you know user issued a run stats uh, command and gathered the statistics or the system itself has gathered the statistics so both can be possible so that you can come to know about here and this for xmls and uh, reclaimable space is one important thing so <coughs> so what happens is in a, in a table there will be a lot of free extents in between in a huge table so in a oltp typically deletes happen inserts happen uh so uh, there will be lot of pockets free pockets in between so that is the reclaimable space so if the rep- if there is there is a good amount of reclaimable space you can reclaim it using uh, reorg table reclaim extends command itself uh, so this is pretty much these are the uh, pretty much useful information that is given in this is ibm adm admin tab info table and uh, let's just uh, have few queries so let's query that and try to find out the current uh, status for a particular table okay uh, so here uh, once this query run he, here you can see the data object p size is 840 so 840 kilobytes is the space that is it's occupying i have no indexes on the table so zero it's not in the rear pending state number of rear uh, recommended operations are zero and the table is using uh, large uh, rids so this one i need to check out so uh, but it is using large rids uh, so whether the table is using large R- rids or not you can easily find out from here and whether, what is the reclaimable space here okay now let's add some uh, data to this and lo- look at how much the increase is there in order to do that so i'll just create this so I, i this is just loading some random data into that particular table so let it just run adding a few more records than i expected it's taking some time okay so now it is done so we'll run the the admin tab info query now so 1640 so it's almost uh, it has doubled in the uh, space so as you can see it it shows clearly and let us do some reorg operations and see so reorg recommended operations so i am just setting uh, the nullability of the table a uh, particular uh, column name column i am just setting not null look here so the num reorg operation is one now and the reorg pending is here y but it will still allow further operations uh, till it reaches 3 so let us do another uh, operation so which will be like drop not null alter table command drop not null now 
let us check so it should say 2 now yes now we'll again change it to not null so it should say 3 now okay now after this it won't allow us so okay so it gave us the error indicating that uh, it can't do that right so uh, it gives the error SQL 20054N reason code reason code 23 I think that is precisely the same thing SQL 20054N reason code is 23 so what is our reason code maximum number of reorg recommended alter uh, have been performed so in order to come out of this what we have to do is say we have to reorg the table so let us quickly do that db2 reorg table table name so the reorg operation is complete and uh, now let us look at the select query see the the count has been reset to 0 the rear pending uh, status also has been reset to n so this is a very and here you can see the large uh, rids it is currently using large rids in some case in, in a typical table you will have n here uh, wherein uh, it, it indicates it's a regular uh, table with uh, regular uh, rids so here it is it is using large rids in this uh, our example and reclaimable space is 0 this is pretty much it it's a very useful view uh, most frequently it is used for the physical size and the reorg recommended uh, to find out you know whether your alter table statement is going to fetch you uh, into a, a reorg uh, recommended operation or not okay so that's it thank you